these views. <laughs> I know the yard looks like it's cut, but that's the way I cut it. But man, you know what? That's the way I edge. <laughs> but I just wanted to, to go over this video to make a video point with you guys. Do y'all ever get clients that basically they want to do their their own lawn work? <laughs> their own lawns or their own lawn work or anything that of that nature. Like basically, you know what I'm saying, their own hedging, whatever, whatnot. I, I don't know if they hired some guys, but uh they sure did a poor job of trying to clean it up. But hey, I, I don't know. That's why I always say stay in-house. With your line guy, I always consult with them. You never know. I mean, after a while, the bushes are gonna die. And this is just one of the, one of my viewpoints right here. The what it is. Let me go walk on a little further. And uh, let's see, let me go ahead and uh. uh I don't know if that was meant for anything. Some, sometimes line clients kind of block entrances off and stuff like that. That they don't want you to cut. I have to go ahead and phone call. But by the way, have you ever get these clients that basically tell you that they tell you one thing, they do another one? I do. Uh, it's not this particular yard, but it's a lot of. There's a lot of little clients I have along the way there. Trust factor. <laughs> and the trust factor of it all. I got cars and all that stuff swinging by me. I'm gonna go get my safety cones out. <laughs> and actually, whew, you can really feel it today. It's like after the Actually, after the windstorm, I would say tropical impressions that we keep having in Florida, uh, that they call, let me see, quote unquote, we did have 60, 65 windstorm and uh, gusts. And then we had like it was it went down to like 45. Wasn't that bad for what it was. It was a good little tropical impression. I always tell people, man, if it really wants to hit Florida, it would really have to come. It really had to come cocksided to hit Florida. I don't think I don't think it's in St. Pete, Florida, where I'm located. Tampa, Florida, and all surrounding areas, it'll have to, it will have to basically hit us straight on. We such in the middle of the, we such in the middle of the state that it has to hit us like straight on. But anyways, I'm getting off the subject. I'm gonna go ahead and quit that bull wash. But customers that want to do their own lawn, and we invited y'all and our lawn care and everything like that do your own lawn but you know it was a professional it was a professional <laughs> this is what happened when you do you got to remember to shake it off <laughs> so i may have to go go through and blow it out because yeah, sometimes the blower can't do all that and it end up deteriorating that tree and giving it a, a disease in the long run. Now while you see some spots in the middle, they're not fully growing equivalently because the tree has grown a disease. Some bushes that you cut and tie them in. I may just go ahead and do a whole video on how to 
trim bushes and stuff. So that's, that should be something to watch after. Wow. I know I didn't bring the, I didn't bring my little Joby or anything like that for to capture this whole lawn, but I show y'all guys that after, I know y'all guys like, hey, you know what? I'm in a particular neighborhood where they keep the landscape up. They keep everything going. So I got, got a little bit to go and I'll see y'all in about a few minutes in video time. It's gonna take me a while in real life. All right, there. And voila, let's see. Did it look good? Did it look good? And I gotta take more pictures of the Phoenix product and stuff like that. But yeah, I ended up getting some of the debris from the gutters. See, from the gutters over here, it was all up underneath my truck and trailer and you know, whatever else. And then I blew it off into the yard, mulched it into the yard, going great. Go uh, get a uh, great nitrogen off of that, and the height, height and uh, weight proportion ratio is what made this cut happen. I also believe that weight grade and everything in lawnmower actually does a number on some some people's grasses, uh, especially while you're micro cutting. Around this time of year, at least. Some people's grass don't grow as heavenly and it don't fertilize and it may leave it with an everlasting during, during the summertime and in the winter. Some portions of the grass kind of die off. That's why you see low. It's a perfect lawn up until you get to that fence and then it's like, like a circle or something like a dead spot circle. Man, whoo. Man, uh, so let me go ahead a little bit close show y'all the end result on the bushes and stuff like i kind of had to blow that off because it, it left so much uh dead in it i didn't want to get too much of the disease just in case he hands me the responsibility yeah. Yeah. i like the time before when you had to go ahead and uh you're shaking it off and it had a whole bunch of leaves in it yeah, well, that's it for this lawn. But for the beginning question of this video, let's see, let me do some of my responsibility because business do come first. <laughs> business do come first before YouTube. Well, actually, family comes first, business second, YouTube third. Uh, so I haven't been uploading in a while, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and gradually start doing it. And hopefully, you know, whew, I seen that y'all guys are uh, actually looking at the videos and be like, hey, you know what? I'm kind, kind of concerned about where things are headed as far as that being said. Am I still in business? Yes, I am. But you can't, uh, you can't judge a book unless you necessarily are that same person. And then I kind of noticed that people were kind of asking me throughout the city if I'm still in business and all that stuff and a joke of the mood, whatever, whatnot. And I told them I was at my, my signs my off. Signs off at a vehicle, as y'all can see, see right here, I got my sign right there. It's kind of sticky. The sign right there was kind of sticky. <laughs> and I kind of told my front guy that the other one's kind of smeared. So, got us a little special deal working out and some more prints for next year going on because I want, to, I want the business to kind of pick up next year around this season to fill in the gaps that I already have for this year.
next season. Hopefully everything goes good. Hopefully everything go good. And that's the plan. Sorry if y'all see my hand in the video. Just like I'm feeling I'm working. I'm working it as I go. And kind of getting, you know, my plan ready for battle for next year as far as summer, summer, winter, spring, hurricane season. It's hurricane season around here in the southern states. Uh, I think the end of, I think it's October the 15th or October the 20th is when the end of uh, hurricane season is over. But man, as y'all hearing the news, if y'all been watching it, we've been busy. We've been busy for a little minute. But it'd be good to kind of next year kind of have some questionnaires or uh, email or whatever not service. They kind of hand all my customers a question if they want to debris, chicken, 